transfer rumor time. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It's been a little while. But this is quite exciting, mate. A player that, you know, everybody should know about, given the World Cup and how that all went down. Uh, Nelho Molina, Argentine, Argentina's right back. I almost said Argentinas. Um, <laughs> I clearly can't talk today. Uh, we've been linked with, with Molina, mate. Uh, talk to me about this one, uh, where it sort of came from, how you're feeling, because... I think coming into the season, right back was the one position where we all said, yeah, let's absolutely strengthen here. We didn't. And we don't appear to be regretting it, to be honest. Like Matty Cash has had a fantastic start to the season. So this is quite an interesting link, really, given the context. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Agent Emi Agent Martinez is at it again, isn't he? Um, he loves spreading the good word of Aston Villa throughout his international comrades but yeah Molina's a, a really interesting one and it's really interesting you kind of bring up the fact that we're shopping in the right back market um, because I think we've really found a good bit of balance kind of shifting someone like we've put Conta into that role for example at right back this season I think he's looked quite good uh, which has allowed Matty Cash to kind of bomb forward and go and have those games like he did against Burnley away for example um, where he's kind of playing almost as in a wide midfielder role, crashing the box at the far post and getting himself a couple of goals to boot. Um, but Molina is kind of very much cut from the same cloth as Moreno. Uh, he's a very attacking fullback um, this season for Atletico. I think it's only Saul that's provided more assists for Atletico Madrid this season than his three. It's interesting, Atletico were apparently looking to extend his contract earlier on in the month. There were some talks um, from Marco and other kind of papers that things were underway, that they were looking to extend his contract beyond 2028. The player was up for it. And then his current release clause of 90 million euros. And don't wince at that Villa fan. This is commonplace across La Liga that teams will put in extraordinarily high release clauses, um, which are very, very rarely met. Um, and they were kind of hoping to put one in around that mark. But then a couple of days ago, it was actually for Chávez put another story out and say that Aston Villa were interested in Atletico Madrid's right back. We were one step ahead of Manchester United in that regard and in the race to sign the 25 year old we would have to put down around 30 million euros to get the man out of his contract and over to B6. There's not really been much said on his side in terms of how keen he is on the move or anything like that. As I said he's having a very very good season for Atletico Madrid uh, this season. He won the penalty which Antoine Griezmann scored the rebound from uh, in their Wednesday night draw against Celtic in the Champions League. So he's very much involved. He's a very much an attacking threat of Brimit in the modern mould of a right back. So it makes sense, I think, as to why Villa would want him. He's kind of when you see what Moreno has done down that left-hand side. But it looks like there could be a bit of competition. And it's quite interesting that we are going for such an attacking right back on the other side, I think, mate. Yeah, definitely. I think, to be fair, like when we've sort of been playing these midweek European games, I've been worried for the fullbacks because Moreno's obviously been out. Dean is playing a hell of a lot of football, as is Matty Cash. I know we saw Esri come over, as you mentioned, in the Legia game. Obviously, Esri was on the bench yesterday, didn't feature. He definitely needed that rest. But I look at someone like Matty Cash, who probably exudes probably twice the amount of energy as someone like Esri Conte, so just constantly getting up and down the wings every week. And that kind of makes me think, yeah, we probably do need cover there. Um, and just looking at the numbers, mate, uh, he has a pass completion rate throughout his entire career of 73.5%, which is higher than both Luca Dean and Matty Cash. He is creating 2.68 shot creating actions per 90 which is more than Matty Cash's 1.97, but less than Luca Dean's 2.99. Um, and, you know, when it comes to tackles one, he actually ranks bottom out of both Dean and Cash, winning 143 compared to Cash's 273 and Dean's 217 throughout their careers. Uh, very attacking fullback, as you said, mate. Very exciting. I think Atletico in their sort of pursuit for the Kieran Trippier replacement, they went and splashed the cash on him. They got him from Syria. Was it Udinese he was at before? Um, and, I mean, it's it's not as if it's gone badly. He's clearly a very talented player, but 
Premier League fans will tell you just how good Kieran Trippier is right now. They were some, you know, quite the shoes to fill. And when you look at Atletico Madrid, they're not shy of putting someone like Marcus Llorente in at right back at, from time to time, or even sort of doubling up with both Molina and Llorente in, you know, like together, sort of as we have spoke about potentially doing with Dina Moreno from time to time. So it's interesting. And I think 30 million quid seems like a fair price for a World Cup winner, somebody who's playing Champions League football. And, you know, we've spoken so many times about Argentinians coming to Villa Park, Emmy's little connection. I, th- I find it funny as well because it's quite clear that he's like, he's always chatting about us when he's on international duty, which is obviously great. But this week there was also, there was the sort of discourse of about Emmy wanting to win the Champions League. And he obviously said he thinks that he can do that at Villa. He's going to say that. Let's be real. Let's all use our, you know, let's use our sort of interpretation skills here. Uh, I think if we make it to the Champions League, we've probably got one more year with Emmy, and then he goes to a sort of a big club on the continent where he probably has a chance of winning it. Um, but it's nice to know that he holds us in such high esteem and is, you know, potentially talking about us and trying to recruit his national teammates, isn't it, mate? Yeah, exactly, mate. And, and Molina's only 25. You know, he, he's younger than someone like Moreno, who is he's now 30. Um, he's in a really good kind of age bracket. I, I, the 30 million almost feels a bit cheap to be honest with you. I think that especially if teams like United are interested, we'd probably have to pay a little bit more. But I don't, don't think that's the word. I think 30 million would almost be a steal to be honest with you for someone kind of of his pedigree. I think that would represent great value for Atletico who kind of picked him up for around 10 million. So the profit margin is clear for them to see and they've kind of got a good enough track record of picking up players to know that they can replace them. But yeah, his contract doesn't expire until 2027. So that's the one kind of caveat here in that there's no kind of immediate expiry, but there is kind of this scramble apparently to tie him down and admit this interest. So if there are any kind of breakdowns in those talks, maybe that's the window that Villa can kind of pounce him. But yeah, still very early days in terms of this rumour. Hard to speak about it kind of too much before some other kind of papers or journos get their hands on it. But definitely one to keep an eye on. Because January is not that far away, mate. It sounds crazy, but given how thick and fast the games are coming right now, it feels like time is absolutely flying. We're at the end of October, November's here before we know it, and then we're only a couple of months away from the window opening again. And my, oh my, that's um, <laughs> I think Villa are going to be really, really busy in the January market. I think there's, particularly if we're still in the Conference League by that point. Um, so, yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on, mate. 